Now in the studio, so I have Mr. Kwesi Ajiman. He's the CEO of the Ghana Tourism Authority and Year of Return Coordinator. And next to him, I have Lexi Boaheni. She is the Managing Director of LXHR Solutions and Diaspora Drive founder. We're talking Diaspora Drive, which is a program um, geared towards encouraging more diasporas to also invest in the economy. And so basically just giving them an idea of what Ghana is like if they should decide to move down to Ghana. Good morning. Thank you for joining me, by the way. That's First of all, morning. even before we talk about Diaspora Drive, let's talk about Year of Return. All right. We're there. I mean, Christmas is just, you know, in about a week or so. How far gone are plans for Year of Return? I mean, I think, um, thank you for having us. Uh, year of Return started way back in yeah. January. So at least uh, we've had... Uh, what I would call some practice yeah. on the peaks, the peak uh, periods, Pan Affairs, uh, Back to Africa, uh, Emancipation, mm -hmm. and uh, all those were peaks, Jamestown to Jamestown. Mm -hmm. And so picking from those learnings, I think we are ready for December. We've been working very closely with the Ghana Police Service, National Security, uh, the Mayor's Office, all the three mayors, uh, Accra, Ladma, Kolekolote, on how we can really bring everything together and make sure that people come in and have a very good time in Ghana. Mm. So far, I'll say so good. So far, so good. It, it, are people also very well educated on what year of return is? Because that was the problem last year, you know, when it was launched, because a lot of people didn't understand what it was about. This year, are they there? I think we've done uh, some work, but I mean, like we always used to have in our terminal reports, yeah. more room for improvement. And Certainly. I believe because um, on all major platforms, the president has uh, mentioned a year of return in the state of nation address, mm -hmm. independence speech, uh, budget statement, yeah. the minister of finance. So it's become more like a, a reoccurring theme in his speeches. Yeah. Uh, the focus initially was more how we can get people to come in. Yeah. Because that was the idea. Year of return, where are they returning from? So we needed to go out there, reach out to them, and make sure that they respond to that call. And so to that extent, maybe um, local uh, publicity was a bit low-key. Yeah. Uh, we've taken that feedback, and going into December, you can see more things happening, more billboards are up, uh, more conversations are happening on mm. social media and all that to make sure people are aware of what it is. Yeah. Uh, for us, the social impact of the year of return is something that really gives us hope on continuing. Yeah. Because in some communities, ICT centers being built, schools being built, uh, mm. people really making that conscious effort to come back and make an impact on society. Yeah. Which draws me into the to dust for drive, drive because yes. really it's the feedback that we've had is okay, I've come to Ghana, I like it, I like what I see, the people are great, but I want to set up, I want yeah. to do business. How can I get citizenship? How can I uh, get into real estate? Mm -hmm. Those are the things that really has uh, given us that uh, vim, if I should put it that way, mm -hmm. to continue with the year of return in what we call beyond the return. And right. really at the center of it are initiatives like the Diaspora Drive because Certainly. that talks to the B2B networking, getting people to really now start to make the connections that will make them come back and stay forever. Definitely. Lexi, let me bring you in here because yeah, you need sure. to tell me more about the Diaspora Drive. Which edition is this? And of course, he's talked about the need for it, but what's yeah. the plan? So this is our third year, mm -hmm. and we're so excited that we can bring it on another third year. So um, according to stats, we have perhaps around 350 million people in the diaspora, which makes it the third largest country. Um, so there is a, a large contribution. Yeah. Um, your return is phenomenal because it actually enables us to all come together. Um, and it's essentially a networking platform where yeah. you can hear from people who have relocated, um, share their experiences, the good, the bad and the ugly, yeah. um, as well as, you know, be able to do certain things even on the day. So open up a bank account, look at mortgage options, um, which mortgage. So this year we've partnered up with Echo Bank for our um, account. Yeah. Um, uh, this year we've partnered up with Mobus Property. So like all these uh, various um a business service providers that can really ensure that people are comfortable when they come in.
But the, if this is a third edition, and I believe that the first and second were very successful, what were yes. some of the challenges, however, that you faced and what's going to be different about this so year's I edition? So I feel like, um, so from the beginning, one of the challenges that we had is it was the first one. Yeah. So we needed more corporations to come on board to say, do you know what, we can offer you insurance to your diasporans. We can offer you mortgage, op wider range of mortgage op uh, options. Mm -hmm. We can offer you uh, vehicle leases for yeah. those that want to come on a contract. Um, uh, uh, hospitals, um, you know, what hospitals are looking to partner to see that they if they can provide uh, diaspora services for yeah. our returnees yeah. um, so so uh, so that has you know that has grown and uh, we have a wider a, a wider range of people that are going to provide services on the day okay. and beyond um, and hopefully you know we can partner up with other institutions so that they provide us with more support. What have been some of the major concerns of some of these people in the diaspora in terms of wanting to come home? Because a lot of them have been there for years, probably have yeah. thoughts of the idea of coming, but there was something that stopped them from coming. What was that? I think the narrative. Okay. The narrative has always been a different narrative. I don't think as Africans we've told the African story from our own perspective. Mm. And so for a lot of our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, they will rely on... Uh, your what they hear on, yeah. on the media, which is mostly negative, mm. and so for them to be now given that opportunity to get to hear the true story of Africa, true story of Ghana, that really there are opportunities here. The people are warm. Uh, we have nice facilities. Yeah. The environment for businesses. Um, in moving in the right direction. All those things now has given them that encouragement. And so challenge number one was how do we clear that hurdle? Mm -hmm. How do we tell the story in a more positive light mm -hmm. than they've been told? And I would just like add to that. So I'll give myself as an example. Yeah. I was born and raised in the UK. I relocated four years ago. Worst time ever. It was the Dumsa era. Mm. Um, and yesterday I was just doing some reflecting and I was wondering like, how did I survive? this um, but I managed to right um, and I registered a company I've started yeah. a business I've yeah. been able to employ people literally contributed to the social economic growth in some way shape or form yeah. um, so I think there's many stories like this out there which we haven't heard from returnees yeah. and there's many more stories like this to be heard um, and to to happen exactly. so we're hoping that once people attend the event on Friday um, you know we can engage with more people that are looking to come back yeah provide see see what support we can provide them whether as an agency or as an individual business person whether it's jobs which is you know one of the major concern whether it's you know setting up a business and yeah. are supporting you that way okay. um and we can and do so that. so who are the speakers when is it happening and where um so we have everyone speaking this year so um from ursula ursula wusu our honorable minister, minister yes yeah. um to darren who is at Quales. so again he relocated and he was in initially in the entertainment industry um, and now has built himself in a in a in the real estate career uh, we have Claudio Lumo from Glitz Africa and uh, we have Sylvia who's also our partner for the event who produces these magazines um, right. the top reports top in okay. in partnership with um, uh, the GIPC okay. um, so yeah so we have we have many speakers we have the founder of Starbite who will be sharing her experiences so mm -hmm. you you never hear from some of these people so it'd be good to kind of hear what some of their challenges mm. are um, and how they've overcome them and maybe we can learn a lesson or two. What time on Friday does it start? So it's at 2 p.m. registration begins. Okay. Um, you can get, you can follow us on social media, diaspora at, at diaspora underscore drive, or you can give us a call on 050-242-9959. Okay. Um, and it, it will end at eight, but we advise people to get arrive on time just on for time. seating. All yeah. right, so it's open to everyone, anybody it's at all who's interested yeah. can attend. Echo Bank, head, sure. Echo head Bank headquarters, okay. yes. All right, yes, and so Friday. it's happening on Friday. I get to be the host for the Diaspora yes. Drive, and so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to all the contributions, the revelations, and everything else that is inclusive of your return and why a lot of people in the Diaspora should come back home and set up and help grow the African economy. It is very important. And so thank you so much for joining me. Yes, I've been yeah. speaking to Lexi Bohene. She is the MD for LSHR Solution and Diaspora Drive founder. And also Mr. Kwesi Ajiman. He's the CEO of Ghana Tourism Authority and Year of Return Coordinator. Very grateful for your time.